Ladies and gentlemen, this is going to finish section 7.2. We're trying to find the cube root of 27 d to the 30, e to the 9th, f to the 300th. Now, I'm going to classify this as easy. And here's the reason. When I look for perfect cubes, 2 to the 3rd is 8, so 8 is a perfect cube. 3 to the 3rd is 27. 4 to the 3rd is 64. 5 to the 3rd is 125. So you can create this list very easily. I, I, I don't like it when people say memorize it, 8, 27. Well, why memorize it? 2 to the 3rd is 8. 3 to the 3rd is 27. 4 to the 3rd is 6. You know, you can create it. Well, when I look up here, 27 is obviously a perfect cube, so that's easy. And each one of these exponents is divisible by 3. So without any work, the cube root of 27 is 3. 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. And each one of these powers gets divided by 3, leaving me with d to the 10th. 30 divided by 3 is 10. 9 divided by 3 is 3, so e to the 3rd. And 300 divided by 3 is 100, so f to the 100th. And we're done. Okay? Now, this one's not quite as easy for this reason. 125 is good. That's a perfect cube, so that's good. But 4 is not divisible by 3, and 5 is certainly not divisible by 3. So what we need to do here is we need to arrange this into what I teach my students. I call this the good house. Okay, I call this the good and I call this the junk, meaning there's nothing I can do with it. It's not a perfect cube. Where does 125 go? Well, I hope you're going to put it in the good house because 125 is already a perfect cube. 4 is not divisible by 3. Let's count backwards. Go back from 4. 4, 3. Is 3 divisible by 3? Yes. So x to the fourth is going to become x to the third, and we're going to put an x over here. See how that works? x to the third times x is x to the fourth, but we just broke it up, and we put them in the appropriate houses. Is 5 divisible by 3? No. Okay, back it up. Let's go for You know, let's go backwards. Is 4? No. Is 3? Yes. So we write, we put y to the third in the good house, and that would mean y to the second has to go in the junk house. And why is that? Because 3 plus 2 give me 5. Now we can finish the problem. The good part works out pretty. The cube root of 125 is 5. 3 divided by 3 is 1. That leaves me with x to the first. I don't need to show the 1. 3 divided by 3 is 1. That leaves me with y to the first. What happens with the junk? Well, the reason it's junk is because it can't come out from the radical. So it stays under the what? The cube root. Please put that index. See? And then we have x, y squared, and there is my answer. 5xy times the cubed root of xy squared. And we're done.